All right, switching now to something that is uh, not nearly as serious, but still getting a lot of attention, uh, not only around Connecticut, but around the country at this point. News 8 continues to watch the situation unfold in Shelton, a story that first came to us through a reporter. Girls told just about a week before the prom that some of them would have to change their dresses or not be allowed to go. Now there's a petition circulating to change the dress code policy being enforced by the school. We're told 450 students have signed the petition. More are expected to sign it before it's presented to the Board of Education. The whole thing getting national attention, as Jim mentioned. Just yesterday, the superintendent of Shelton Public Schools told News 8 the district is standing by its policy. And in terms of a prom, this is a school-sponsored event, okay? This is not an individual event. It's a school-sponsored event. As a school system, uh, we have the right, and I think we have the responsibility, uh, to set a standard. Now, here's what the students are arguing. They say the school handbook does not talk specifically about prom. And they say there's a double standard going on here. Many have told us about a Mr. Student Body pageant, which apparently features boys in nothing but boxers. So this is kind of what people are upset about, saying there's this double standards. Plus, girls in Shelton have already bought their dresses. They're saying it's too late and too expensive to replace the dresses now. So News 8 has your back with a closer look at some of the styles that are causing all this uproar. We're talking dresses that expose girls' backs. Mm -hmm. Upper legs. Wow. Risque. Yeah. Yikes. News 8. Not the prom dress that I used to wear. News 8's prom fashion specialist, Brian Spiro, is standing mm -hmm. by with a special guest to give us a closer That's right, look. Brian. Brian. My parents must be proud. All right. Good morning, <laughs> Jim and Allie. Well, as you just mentioned, the issue surrounding these prom dresses at Shelton High School is getting a great deal of attention. And joining us this morning with some perspective on the matter is Asi AK of Asia's Boutique in Madison. Good morning and thanks morning. for being here. So, the first thing, the pictures that we've been getting um, from the girls who mm -hmm. their dresses are now in question, and there's a lot of them they're all very different but is what we're seeing is that the style right now is that what girls are buying the style is um, defined after Oscars and Golden Globe and what the stars are wearing and these girls are idling those stars and they choose the dresses that are close or similar to those dresses so color wise cut wise and um, stylized. Those so we are should the blame the celebrities for this <laughs> issue right now. So, um, you know, at your boutique, you do things a little differently. And one of the things you do is you get the parents involved. Explain why this is so important and what advice you would have for anyone who has children who's going to be going to prom next year or the years to yes. come. We encourage the parents to be with their um, daughters when they come to prom uh, shopping, not just because of choosing the right dress, but also that experience, mother and daughter experience. It is very important. These teenager girls are uh, out for their especially first uh, black tie event, most of them, and um, they need guidance. They need to um, have that guidance from their parents. I think parents are the main people who decide what they should wear, and sometimes dads have different standards than moms and the daughters, and moms are there to uh, direct it daughters and we help them with that. We will not sell a dress without parents permission um, just to the children. And then real quick, just a few seconds left on the flip side of all of this, some of these dresses are, are very expensive, they're very unique. They are, yes. Kids need to know the policy of their each individual school. Well, kids need needs to know the policy and the schools actually need to um, tell them the policy a little longer time than eight days. It is not uh, fair to them because some of these girls purchases their dresses in January. Exactly. And um, they have alterations to do. They have uh, shoes to match. They have jewelry to match. They have hairstyle to match. So those are all important facts and it's very important to understand what school they go. Some of the Catholic schools have dress codes and we as a right. store encourage those. So a lot um, of stuff that people codes. need to keep in mind for this obviously yes. so they can have fun and enjoy it. So yes. thank you for being here with us thank this morning. You. We certainly appreciate it. And of course, Good Morning America will have much more on this story coming up at 7 o'clock. For now, we're going to send it back to you guys over on the Anchor Desk.